All right. Well, we're going to Mount Fuji, so we saw Mount Fuji from our dorm. So we got two days to plan and climb. Less than, bro. Less, Less than. than. We're starting preparations right now. This is like the start of climbing Mount Fuji in, in the dorm. Let's go. <laughs> okay, this is the first second. Where are we? Yeah, it's seven. A thousand something meters to climb. I haven't surfed like this in a while. I think we're at the top. <laughs> We made it, bro. We made it on the top of Mount Fuji! Um, and then, uh, last time we came back arrived. Alright, so we're making the plans for Mount Fuji right now. They're only open on October 1st, which is Saturday. We were trying to go on Friday, but they're all closed. Yeah, we're figuring out like last minute if we could book a hut, which is like the little place that we're gonna be staying for the night. Kind of excited that it's getting real, but yeah, very last minute stuff. We love it. We will see you tomorrow. Um, it's not today. I mean. Nice. Okay, we got it. We good. That's nice. Now we got a hut. Up, All right, we, we got. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Going to Mount Fuji. <laughs> Yay! Oh. It's the day before Mount Fuji, 11, 15 p.m. I'm about to go to sleep because I'm waking up really early tomorrow. We're waking up at 5.30. Our plans changed to go to Mount Fuji. We're gonna go to Lake Kawaguchi. You can see the mountain, you got the reflection on the lake, it's beautiful. And let me show you a bit of what I packed to go to Mount Fuji. A hoodie, a windbreaker, a hat, gloves, and something for my neck to keep it warm. I'm gonna be bringing also my Sony a7 III. My sunglasses in here, boom. Got Pokari sweat, cutlery set, that's that you could fold. I actually didn't even buy this with the intention of climbing Mount Fuji. I just bought it because I thought it was cool. <laughs> also very important because we're going for the sunrise. I came between 11 and 5 a.m. It's going to be pitch black, so... Got a headlight. These jelly drinks designed to supply carbohydrates equivalent to one rice ball. I'll be able to drink them while we're going up. A bunch of different trail mix. Some cans of sardines. That's what I'm bringing. Keeping it lightweight don't have any special hiking shoes or anything i'm just gonna be using sneakers gonna be a crazy experience i'm so excited and climb to the top is six hours uh the descent is three hours and after that we're gonna be heading to the beach maybe you'll see the video if i end up going to the beach and see you in the next morning okay so it's the morning of and we're on call with my favorite person in this world. Whoa, I have to leave in three minutes. Okay. All right. We're getting jock. Jock! It's time. It's time. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll look for you downstairs. All right, so we got three minutes to make it to the station. If we miss this one, we miss our bus. Uh, here's the manager. You can see he's running for our lives. Hi, Jimmy. Good morning. Oh, man. Hopefully, we made it. Running with a bag is. Ah. Yeah. Oh, God. Why? That really opened up my lungs. Yeah, we didn't even make it. <laughs> oh, yes. Alright, I think we made it to the bus. I think this is it. It's 7 05 right now. Do we have to buy a ticket though? Okay, so we have to get okay tickets. In right, it's closed. Um, uh, two, two for Fuji Q Highlight. Seven or eight. I got the tickets. This is a mess. 
Had a good time though. We made it. Against all odds. This is a mess, but we're getting on the bus. We made it. Yo, we out here, bro. I did I honestly thought for a second we weren't gonna make it. Like, the ticket of the you blessed us. We've already been blessed. Like, for real. Like thrice today. Our plans from two days ago are actually somehow making it to reality. Now we don't have a view of uh, Mount Fuji, but once we get there, we're gonna know we're gonna go nuts. Saturday, October 1st, 11 a.m. Spider is nuts. No, this spider is nuts. Okay, we're here, man. Wow. We made it to Lake Kawaguchi. We're taking a little break right now to eat. Let's see Mount Fuji from this side. It's from the other side, so we'd have to cross all the way there. And I don't know if we have time. We're thinking of getting one of those uh, paddle boats there. Uh, uh -huh. Two? Sun. 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 <laughs> Sun. 3 p.m. Oh, right. Sanji. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Oh let's go. Ah! Sure, this is mad. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's try to speed this through. Oh, that's mine. Bro, oh. Okay, are we? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's why they put the tires on this. <laughs> We're. We actually can see Mount Fuji now. Look at that. Crazy. But yeah, this is a workout, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god, we have the perfect view right now. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Alright. Made off the paddle bolt, that was a little struggle to get back. Put in a little bit of work so we don't miss our bus, but we made it. That was amazing, honestly. Focus on the mission, getting on the bus to our station. And yeah, everything's going smoothly so far. It's nice. Surprisingly, feeling high energy. Got a little power nap in the bus. <laughs> so far, I'm too Let's two. go. I'm filthy, look. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty super. Yeah. M1. Let's go. I've got negative bread on my puzzle. Got our ticket on our way to uh, Fuji Subaru. <laughs> Fuji Subaru Line 5th Station, which is the starting point of the Yoshida Trail. Yeah, then we're gonna hike to our hut. Tonight at 11 is when we get serious. That's when we pull out the big guns. It's crazy to think that we're gonna be right there in a few hours yeah right we're gonna be all the way up there and we're gonna be able to see this spot right here from up there that's wild <laughs> Just stepped out. It's, it's cold. Not that bad, yeah. 
is cold. Uh, there's a horse. <laughs> horses. There's horses. What is going on? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're at our starting point. We've officially started the climb to Mount Fuji. Oh yeah. Which is crazy. We're at fifth station and we're making it to tenth, I think. And we're gonna sleep at six. That's right. I kind of feel bad for them, but. Sixth station here. Okay, we're at Seikan, so we're gonna make it all the way up there to the summit. That's the tenth step. So three thousand seven hundred seventy-six summit Kengami. Yeah, but we're at officially the start of Mount Fuji. Crazy to think that this was only an idea two days ago. <laughs> Some horse. This air is like going straight to my lungs. Ah, I can smell something people? sweet. Is that the tree? I think it's the trees. It smells sweet. I'm not lying. Like I can't unsmell that. That's just that's just here. Yeah. I don't know what flavor it is, but I reckon no. it's the green one. <laughs> so you got some one of these. Got some postcards. And there's also clean air from Mount Fuji. In a can. <laughs> 3,500 yen for uh, long sleeve. Got out of the souvenir shop and the shirt fits to start our, our hike over there. But apparently the trail is closed. So closed just means harder entry. So pack our souvenirs and head to our hut, the State Council hut, the official start of our journey. The nice smell of horse dung to start our journey. We're about to start our hike officially. It's 2.48. We're here right now. We're gonna make it to Seikanso Hut here. Tomorrow at 11, well tonight at 11 p.m. We're gonna do the whole way up to the summit to get to the sunrise. The official start of the Mount Fuji trek. We're really, we, hiking. we're really hiking right now. Okay, this is the first seconds of the journey. We've manifested this moment, you know, into existence. Got a nice little tree. This is the first step. What? The climbing route apparently is closed, but we're still gonna go to our hut because why would they have huts open if the climbing route's closed? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, they're crazy. We're not doing that. Yeah. Not even at our hut. It's so steep. <laughs> it is very steep. Yeah. Just got to the first little checkpoint. It's not the hut, but it's for real. This first uh, climb is very steep. <sighs> yeah, this is not good terrain to be climbing on. The ground, every time you take a step, dragging your foot behind we did not see a three road split anywhere on the map where are we because we're definitely not on the right path we done talking with these construction workers language barrier but he's saying that we can't sleep at where we were supposed to sleep at the hut uh, we gotta call them back because or else we're, we fumble big time so where do we come then to, to, to where is the hut yeah seven but yeah. Okay, so switching back to in the dorm view at this point of the video I just cut my GoPro cut my phone and we're just focusing to find our dorm because if we don't get it in time We're basically not gonna get any sleep because remember we're leaving at 11 p.m. at night So we could catch the sunrise on top of Mount Fuji at this point. We're really lost We were calling the people from the hut so we got confirmation, we knew that we could access the hut. It's just that we couldn't actually get there because everything was so confusing. The routes are closed. What they do when the routes are closed, they remove all signals that allow you to orient yourself on the trails. And there's new routes that appear, there's different forks in the road that aren't there usually. So it's super confusing. We asked a nice couple that was there for directions as well as a Japanese guy. The Japanese guy actually offered to bring us all the way to the hut. And Mans was coming back down from the top. Another great example of how people are just so helpful in Japan. So yeah, 
let's cut back to what I was saying, get back to the hut, and we made it. All right. We made it to the hut. We're finally in here. This is our tiny space, you know. We're gonna eat, or I'm gonna show you the view from outside. It's nice. This whole place is like, actually, let me, let me give you a little tour. This is what it looks like from outside where we're sitting. This is the dining area, so it's very like a traditional, uh, we're kind of sitting down. I'm gonna look at that for sure so we don't get lost again. And this is the view from outside with the people just dining. Looking at these climbing sticks, which they stamp all along the way. Um, me and George both got one. So each stamp represents a different stage of climbing Mount Fuji. It's gonna be a great memory for us. Yeah. This was a little rocky start. I also have to figure out my phone situation because I have no charger and it's dead. So yeah, that's a little update to making it to Seikan Hut. We're at the sixth station. It's looking very nice. Uh, we're waiting to eat. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a charger for my phone. All good though. That's my fault, I didn't bring it. Uh, I wanted to keep it light, but a charger, like, anyways. We're gonna try not to use my battery too much, so I'm gonna eat dinner and go to sleep, or I'll give a food review first, but yeah. All right, everyone's settling in. This, this is so cool. I'm just sitting here with my little Japanese family. Yeah, George, yeah. So far, 8.5 hours. Yep, 8.5 hours. Everything was so good. These potatoes here, creamy, sweet, delicious. These pickled vegetables, I don't know what it was. The only reason why it's an 8.5 is I felt like I could have more. You know what? No, I'm above it to a 9. This is actually a decent portion. I'm usually always hating on portions. This was a decent portion. Ready to go to, to sleep. Very good pre hiking meal. How do you feel about it? Yeah, man, I more or less agree. All of that, 8.5, man. Mm -hmm. Very in love with this group eating traditional setting. Right? Yeah, yeah. This, this whole thing is an experience. Alright, we're gonna head outside. Got my little cup of tea. Alright, and we got the nice sunset going on. By the way, I wasn't able to show it. Seikan So, Mount Fuji, sixth step. We're above the clouds. Mm. Amazing. I'm just having the time of my life. Most wholesome meal probably of my life. Right. Now we're about to head to the actual hike. Everyone left, so like maybe we should leave too. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Goodbye to say Council Hut. Thank you for having us. Very nice hut. Let's get our walking sticks. This is the official start of our hike to the summit. It is 11.30 at night. We're still October 1st. Got a thousand something meters to climb. We wanna make it for sunrise. We're gonna keep up a pace. We left a little bit later. The journey to the top takes us around four and a half hours. Uh, around an hour in, I'd say. Not even at the seven checkpoint yet but we made some good progress, kept a good pace. Air is definitely thinner, getting cold here, but we're gonna keep pushing on. Now is where it gets serious, you can see it's really rocky. 
deep breaths and we got this. Yeah. I'm looking at the rest of these paint guys. Yeah. This is the top? No. no I'm trying the most. We made it. <laughs> made it to the seven. No. Let's go first checkpoint. Don't get it twisted. We got a long way to go, bro. Extra liter of water that I brought. Coming in clutch. It is. But it was weighing me down a little bit. And now. Hey. Let's go. First one checkpoint. Down, one down, three to go. Let's go. You know, not gonna lie, halfway through was getting a bit tough, but once we got in the rhythm, it was nice. Bakari sweat tasting different. No, that's no. water, right? No, this is Bakari sweat. I got two in my back. Bro, you are pushing. Yeah, I'm pushing P. Literally pushing Bakari pushing sweat. Bukhari. That's what, that's what Ghana yeah. meant. I think that's my next Instagram caption. Not like pushing for carry. That's hard. Pushing for carry, bro. All right, we're trying this. Get a little food rating out here. Mmm. No, no, you're saying like a little bubble tea. This is really nice. This is bussin'. Mm. For hiking. Not gonna lie, this is a. I'm feeling energized right now. This is a. This is giving me life. This is a 9.7 out of 10. <laughs> It's cold out here, it's chilly. As soon as you sit down, you feel it. Yeah, you feel it for sure. I think I might switch to my beanie now. I like the, at some points I caught myself smiling, just like thinking about the fact that I'm climbing Mount Fuji right now. Hell yeah. For the sunrise. All right. All right, finish our little snack. We're back on the road to the eighth. Getting chilly here. I uh, fully suited. Day. We're almost at the A station. I'm uh, starting to struggle right now. The cardio's the cardio's lacking. I'm not too stressed about making it for sunset. Uh, sunrise, yeah. Man. Lack of oxygen is uh... <laughs> it rocks. Just like once we're at eight, we're halfway up, right? We're two stations out of four. Yeah, but yeah, this one was a uh, was a rough one for me. George, you're you're beasting, bro. Man, mountain. Mountain man, for real. I'm a suburban <laughs> man. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Short, yeah. good, We're setting good pace, for real. We could set off. Let's go. Made it past the A station. It's getting real. I'm feeling that fatigue setting in, but we're halfway there. That trail makes it solid. I'm, uh, I'm taking this much need break. Yeah. Soon come is the summit. Exciting. Oh. Like it's so. It's not the ones we saw in the souvenir shop were like really petite. All right, I was in a lot of pain. Bad right now. We're like eight and a half station, I think, like 400 meters from the top. My two quads are really cramped up. It's like hurting every step, but we're gonna make it to the top. It's not because of the route itself, it's really the pace that we were going. We we're going so fast. Everyone that left in the morning before us, we passed all of them on the way up because we were the first people at the top really fast paced and that's why like i was just really tired it's hard man and we're taking it one step at a time one step at a time i feel like if i stop it's gonna be hard to get back going it's gonna be a tough last push but it's gonna be worth it but it's about pushing the limits and doing what we think we couldn't have done which right now it's looking, it's looking hard, but I don't doubt we're gonna, we're gonna be at the top soon. 
might be asking why didn't you just take a break why didn't you just well the reason for that is it's really cold up there and yeah we were not equipped at all for being in the cold like I had this hoodie this exact shirt that I'm wearing right now plus the windbreaker that I had uh, you would freeze if you waited more than like 10 minutes we couldn't take any breaks five minutes before we started to really feel cold at that point my legs were so busted and if I would take a break my legs would just would not be able to move anymore so it's easily like top two most painful experiences physically in my life we came here with zero preparation so That's the mindset I had to be in. We made it out of the top of Mount Fuji! Yeah, Crazy! We're right where we were looking at. We're right where we were looking at. And we're the only people here. Yeah. And we're gonna catch the sunrise. What time is it? Official time. We quarter to four. God damn. Long time. This is crazy, dream come true. I don't know when's the last last time I, I pushed myself to the limits like that. Screw it, I, I'm taking it one step at a time. That was my mentality. I really pushed myself to the limit. The human mind, okay, no, I'm not gonna go into the <laughs> motivational speech. I knew we were gonna make it here. I knew it. Wait, no, we have to play a song. That was the moment right there. This is the bucket list moment. I'm so proud of myself, bro. Doing this, I'm proud of you, bro. Proud of you. Yo, we did this. We did this for real, man. This just proves that if you want to do something, literally just do it. We were in our dorm room, like thinking about just climbing Mount Fuji. And here we are, like 48 hours later. We're on top of Mount Fuji. Yeah. Yeah, so now at this point, we're at the top, feels amazing. I feel so happy that we accomplished it. We're just sitting at the top, there's no one there. We're the first people there. Oh, after like being all happy and everything, I look at the time and I see that we have two hours before sunrise. That's when it settles in that we're gonna be in this cold at the top. It's even colder than we were going up because now we're completely unsheltered from all the wind. Climbed at this hour specifically too see this we didn't want to just go up while it's dark and go down i was completely tired drained now we have to be at this top waiting for the sunrise i was not having a good time I mean, it's a little crevice where the wind doesn't hit as much but i'm trying to keep the warmth in here surviving surviving off that body heat I was, i'm wishing i brought an extra layer but that wouldn't have been fun to carry up here so after all that suffering to get to the top i was suffering from the cold but thanks to this one guy that was there with us uh, i had a little thermal sheet to like protect me from the cold thanks to this little cover here i'm feeling better I'm surviving <laughs> survival kit yeah <laughs> for real I'm surviving out here and he brought a portable stove with him so we could have a little bit of ramen. It just felt so good to have that warm broth when it was just so cold. Nice. Look at this, man. Oh my god. Yeah, I got a little spoon. Oh man. It's nice and hot. Well, then, <laughs> when you're. Yeah, I did not envisage this being. Uh... <laughs> oh my nice. god. 
I'm eternally yeah. grateful. I didn't get to really enjoy the experience of the sunrise, trying to capture it because I knew I wanted something to look at, look back on. But in my mind, really, I just wanted to go back down. I wanted to to sleep. getting back down to the mountain you're not home we're still hours away from from our dorm so yeah to be honest it was amazing to achieve that but it was kind of bittersweet because i knew that still had a lot ahead so let's get on with the rest of what happened get it back i'm exhausted i feel like i might be sick like have a cold or something. Uh, I just want to go home. Oh, I'm so happy to see this place. Uh, all right. All done, bro. Got a Sprite. We made it back. Strong. That was nothing. You want to go back right now? Yeah, man. I'll go. I'll do it backwards. Yeah. Easy. I'll do it like on. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying. Never again. Yeah, never again. <laughs> no. Never again. That was one of the most brutal experiences of my entire life. Let's just put it like this. I'm happy and proud that we did that. We have some nice memories from it. Cool. Cool. Warriors beautiful, now. beautiful photos. Possibly a good time lapse if I remember to press play. Yes. <laughs> Experience of a lifetime. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life. So glad it's over. So, so, so happy it's over. <laughs> Don't do it out of season. Get yourself some hiking boots. Get yourself some appropriate clothing so you don't freeze. The sunrise thing's nice and stuff. Yeah. Maybe just do it like a normal person in the day. We went, we, we went hard. We went no, hard. One regret, bro. Mm -hmm, no regrets. Now we could just go back home and reminisce. So that's it for my Mount Fuji experience. A lot of highs and lows. This video took me a while to edit. I just wanted to make something that accurately represented what we went through. Really happy with how it turned out. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Looking back on it, what we did was crazy. Just going up Mount Fuji with no preparation. So hopefully now you know to not do that. Or don't. And just go through what we had to. Shout out to George, man. You're a good hiking partner, bro. This was one of the activities that I had in Japan so far. The biggest one. But yeah, for the next videos, I want to actually give you guys the opportunity to decide what the next video is going to be. I'm going to put the options for the videos that I have right here. And out of these two videos that are already pre-recorded, you guys are going to decide which one I'm going to be editing. I have a new TikTok account called Padcamp Vlog, and I want you guys to vote on that specific account. Go and comment on the video recap that I'm going to be posting for this video. Comment either one or two, and the video idea that gets the most votes will be the next one I'm going to edit. If you want to get more votes, vote down in the comments below. And yeah, this was a pretty long video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, well, I got more coming, so stay tuned for that. Peace.